Hi folks, Reed Tobel, Jason Clinkenbeard, Travis Jeppesen broadcasting live on top of Everill Hill. We're on mile marker 10, Highway 93 for the big farm and ranch consignment auction. And we're gonna go ahead and do a big walk around here, virtual tour to kind of show you what is here. We've got most of the sale lined up. Uh, just a couple things and we're gonna point those out that are still in route. But we're gonna start right here with the 12 o'clock lineup. Real good lineup here of uh, of hay equipment. If you're in the market for a, a self-propelled swather, we've got a couple of pull types, uh, both a rotary machine and a sickle in the back. Uh, about four round balers here, Jason, Travis, and then of course a couple square balers, and we've even got a bail wagon. We've got a Wallinga grain back. All the fittings. And with all the fittings, and uh, it's a good working unit. We've got 1975 grain truck with the stock racks. Everything's complete, and it's ready to go to work right now. And an awful lot of trailers. Start here, we've got uh, kind of a homemade turned into trailer here, a gooseneck, and then we've got a van trailer here. You said this is about 43, 43 feet. foot. Yep, yep. A real nice tandem axle, heavy duty, 9,000 pound axles under this guy, uh, gooseneck, and a whole bunch of flatbeds. I tell you what, here's one that looks just about brand new. Yeah, it's never been used. It's a year, a year old, uh, year model, but uh, never been used. Good little cargo trailer over here. I will point out anything with titles uh, that should have titles, we do have here on site. A couple of these trailers may be homemade that uh, never were titled, but for the most part, anything that should have a title does. Yeah. We've got a white Dodge diesel pickup not in the lineup here. We're charging up the batteries on it as we speak. It'll go right here. Probably the heaviest duty pipe trailer we've ever had at an auction right here. Somebody looking for a good pipe trailer, that'd be one to go couple of motor homes, a really nice uh, ski boat. We've got several four-wheelers. This little club, club car golf cart is rip-roaring ready to go. These jet skis, uh, they're O2 models, but they've got brand new engines and they've got, uh, they're, they're ready to go. They've been winterized. The work's all been done local and can be documented, so. We're gonna be running two rings here for the entirety of the uh, auction here. Starting at 10 o'clock in the morning and you can see why. Of course, all of our bigger stuff here. We're probably gonna to have to make a loop up this way and then come back down on the other side, but uh, some of these implements are really good shape and some of them brand new almost. Yeah, there's several brand new units here in this out, you know. Got a couple of neat little manure spreaders. Uh, Several brush hogs, tillers, back blades, discs, snow blowers, box scrapers, back scrapers, arrows, bell poppers, big discs, cedars. Got a really nice airway uh, cult, uh, aerator here. Um, just, just a real good lineup of stuff here. Vermeer mower. So this tractor line up here is part of the 12 o'clock line and, and one tractor we are missing is the little Ford tractor all of you guys have seen in our uh, but it advertisement. It should be here. Uh, First thing tomorrow morning. Yep. Preview starts tomorrow morning and Friday for on-site preview. Come and take a look at all this stuff. There's that John Deere 2940. Got a case. Super clean little tractor there. Nice big case, heavy tractor. Another John Deere 3010, a long 600. Got an 8 in, a couple of farm holes, <clears throat> and a really neat little Massey here. Yeah, and that scat track back there. And a scat track skid steer, yep, with the bucket. So yeah. here's, here's where it gets into the pallets, and uh, we're gonna bring Travis Jeppesen in here. He's handled a lot of this uh, smaller stuff here. And Travis, if you just want to start pointing some stuff out, you're going to see. <laughs> well, just about basically anything you wanted to get started with a shop. If you're, uh, if you need it, it's here. 
We've got several welders. Uh, we got the boost boxes, uh, woodworking tools. Look at all the crosscut saws. I, that's a drag saws and crosscuts and antique tools. <laughs> We've got parts washers and oh, just on and on. A rubber raft, uh, ice houses, stoves. We've got uh, some really nice uh, cement mixer and mortar mixers. Scaffolding, big pile of that. Enough for seven tiers. Yep, yep. A couple of fuel tanks and then a couple of nice wire feed welders up front here. Uh, this Lincoln's just like new. I'm gonna slide through here, kind of get in so we can come up the other side. We're trying to keep this video short enough that we can send it out and y'all can have it in your email. We've got some antique horse-drawn equipment that's pretty darn fun. Old grain cleaner. There's a spud digger we used to use when I was just a kid. Just a, Yeah, just a wee little pup, right? <laughs> How about that? Some we don't get every year, but that's the irrigation. Boy, we've got a plethora of it this year. We've got buckets and grapples and post pounders. Bale squeezes. Eight inch. Looks like we got some four and five mixed in, huh? Couple Lots cattle of... guards. We've got uh, railroad ties here. Underneath this tarp, if you give me a second, I'll un... there's a nice pile of cedar there. There's, there's several squeezes, calf tables, uh, Lots of panels and gates and uh, round bell feeders, uh, uh, chain links, stuff. lots of chain link. Well, that's good cedar. I can smell that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's good stuff there. Huh? It's all siding here. It's come right back down here between the middle. and A lot of this stuff, guys, we're going to come to a pallet just like uh, you see us do about every sale. We're going to choice off the pallet and then sell the entire pallet. There's lots of concrete tools and just just a menagerie of shop stuff and miscellaneous hardware. There's a staircase. Yep. Staircase right there is a lift gate for your pickup. Toolboxes and tires. Bolt bins and just, just a whole bunch of stuff. There's several really nice water pumps in this sale, gas powered water pumps. We're going to peel around the corner here, and I want you to see what we're going to start wondering with here before we end the video. And that is for all the collectors out there that love to tinker. We've got a whole bunch of chainsaws out here. Power heads and parts and pieces and, and uh, just stuff that uh, will offer an opportunity to buy a little bit here and there a couple of antique chainsaws and lots of old boat motors antique boat motors here's a good little smoker take a look at these old there's one of these skidoos is a 1969 uh, some real nice little collector pieces there and then a bunch of you know just project four-wheelers and and uh, lawn mowers <clears throat> that run some don't run folks you've been hearing about it You've been seeing it in the papers, you got a flyer, we've been advertising it's going to be a big one and it sure has shaped up to be just that. Preview Thursday and Friday, the 11th and 12th, we'll be here all day long. Sale day, Saturday, May 13th, 10 o'clock start time, bring a bid and partner. We're going to be running two rings the entire day. All the information at riverswestauction.com or our contact information as well. This has been Reed Tobel, Jason Clinkenbeard and Travis Jeppesen. We'll see you along with our entire team Saturday morning.